Yo, what's good? It's your boy Trey Little. I'm back with another video. Make sure you like this video so more people see it. Make sure you subscribe. I'm dropping multiple videos a day. And today, I'm going to talk about and react to Lecrae talking about NF for what I believe is one of the first times. I don't think I've ever heard Lecrae address NF because for those who don't know, Lecrae started off uh, in, you know, Christian hip-hop, blew up, became a pioneer, and F started off in Christian hip-hop, blew up, and became mainstream. Lecrae tried to cross over and become mainstream, but, like, a lot of his fans were not having it. They stopped buying his tickets, and he went through a hard time trying to go mainstream. I mean, he did. He started taking pictures of, like, Lil Wayne making songs with Ty Dolla Signs and taking pictures with Kendrick Lamar. And all of these things started to happen, and his fans was not having it, his Christian fan base. But the thing about NF, he blew up, took off, and went crazy. The thing is, I've met both of these artists. Both artists are really cool down to earth, and I just feel like it's cool to see Lecrae not be as politically correct and actually address these different nuances and elephants in the room that the industry is trying to figure out. Why haven't these guys, you know, collab? One of the things that NF said is I think he tweeted it. He said he's never collaborating with a Christian artist because he feels like the Christian industry did him wrong. And he said that he's never collaborating with a Christian artist again. And he went on on an interview and said he doesn't even know, you know, where he's at with God. He believes there is a God. So he's completely, from what I've seen and from interviews, he's completely done with the Christian entertainment industry. And I mean, I've seen it like firsthand. The abuse is pretty bad. You know what I mean? Um, especially when you think, you know, like the contemporary Christian music side of it as a as a as a black artist is like really bad. I mean, when I was younger, I did a lot of traveling in that world, and it it was it was just really rough. Like it was a rough experience. With NF, he just felt like he wasn't treated fair, and I seen it at some festivals. He was treated really bad. Like they kind of threw him to the side and. It wasn't really racially. My experience was racially. Lecrae's experience was racially. Um, Lecrae went back to uh, Christian music and he did more gospel, uh, black gospel music now. Me, I went direct to consumer. I started making music that, that anybody can relate to and listen to uh, by telling my story and not feeling like I have to change it to get on this kind of radio or this blog or this magazine. Went direct to consumer and I have everybody that uh, feels like my message relates to them listening to my stuff. And that blew up, beat Chance the Rapper, went number one on the billboard. So um, before we get into the stuff, I want to pull up a picture real quick that I took with both of these dudes just to kind of show. So here's the picture with me and Lecrae. We were at a festival. Um, here's the picture with me and NF and, you know, met both of the dudes or whatever. And we all kind of went off to do different things, you know. So here's him actually talking about it because the fans really want to know like how Lecrae feels. And Lecrae is in a situation where or he's in a position in life where he's mature and he's addressing everything it feels like. So here we go. I, I'm, I'm like kind of fascinated by y'all's fascination with me and NF doing something. Maybe it's just like we're two of your favorite artists so you really just want to see us. Collect. Somebody say Lecrae flock of flame. But everybody spams live videos whenever he goes live or any video any of these dudes go live people spam collab with nf collab with nf and like all the video all the comments are collab with nf but people don't know on the back end side like these why this is why these guys aren't um working together because john john this is why these guys aren't working together because there's some behind the scenes stuff like just because they're all christian artists or you know a lot of these dudes don't like each other they beef him I remember when I was a teenager and I started playing at some of the same festivals. I done performed at some of the same festivals with all these guys, right? And I've had a hard time in the green room where I'm like, yo, I don't really want to be around some of these dudes. You got a few guys like Roosline, that's my dog. Um, Kardak, the producer, that's my homie, you know. Um, there's a couple other dudes, like I said, Lecrae's cool. But some of the other guys, I done had some rough running twos with. And I'm like, I don't even want to be around these guys no more. So, you know, just because these guys are in the same genre doesn't mean that they're going to work. Just because they call themselves brothers in God, like, that doesn't mean that they like each other. But Lecrae actually talk and say he's open to it. And if, on the other hand, I don't say he don't want to work with none of these guys. So he about to talk more about it. Elaborate. But it's like one of the most consistent questions I get. It might, I guess in a way, maybe every time somebody see Kendrick, they're like, when are you going to do a song with Cole? Or when they see Cole, when are you going to do a song with Kendrick? I don't know. 
Um, but NF is a good dude. I mean, I've been around him a few times. We did a tour together overseas, a uh, few shows, and, you know, he's doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? I don't know him like that. He's actually really cool with Andy Minio. Him and Andy are really tight. They talk on a regular basis. I don't really talk to NF like that, like that. So, you know, we didn't build, like, a dope, tight relationship. Like he said, even though they're both top-tier artists and they're, they they kind of started off known for their faith, um, that don't mean they cool. They don't really know each other, like he said. Shit, like, probably him and Andy have bills, but he's somebody that I know, you know what I'm saying, and I respect. Um, I think he, you know, he's doing his thing, and, you know, I don't, I, that's all I can say. But maybe, you know what I'm saying, I mean, if, if you know, tell his people to holler at my people, and then maybe something can happen, you know what I'm saying? But, uh... But artistically and musically, I think there's a lot of similarities in terms of NF. NF started like I started in a lot of ways. You know what I'm saying? He started um, doing music in an exclusively Christian side of music. And as he started doing music on an exclusively Christian side, you know, it, it rose up, it rose up. And then the general population got to see him. Now, what I find interesting is that all the slack people gave me. Did y'all see that comment? Somebody said, Jesus is the dopest rapper. He'll wrap his arms around you. Okay. When I start crossing over and when mainstream people was listening to me, they didn't give an F. Now you tell me why that. So this is a really good point. So Lecrae says, when he started blowing up and going mainstream, people stopped buying his tickets. They called him, you know, the devil. They said he sold his soul. And that's on the main uh, hand. Dog got a song of futuristic and futuristic going crazy. He went cra like versus cold. He cussing and everything in it. And and people ain't say nothing about that. Lecrae took a picture with Kendrick and they like, I knew it. He sold his soul. He threw. So I think Lecrae, and this is going to make a lot of people mad. Anytime I bring up race, people try to cancel me. But I'm going to say it because y'all ain't going to do nothing about it. But anyways, people said, Lecrae is saying, people have said because he's black. He didn't get the same treatment. They kind of want Lecrae to stand his place. Because when Lecrae started talking about Trayvon Martin, Tamir Rice, Mike Brown, people were like, we threw with you. We don't want you talking about nothing. We don't care about that entertainment. Shut up. Keep your mouth closed. And then people like, we don't want you talking about black people getting killed. Like, forget about that. Just shut up and rap and take this money. That's what he was saying what happened. And I've seen that happen to him, you know. But he's saying, on the other hand, and that's... Making songs of futuristic, doing whatever he want to do, and then boom, you know. Why you think that is? I'm interested to know why you think that is. Or he didn't answer it in this video, but like I said, I know a lot of these dudes, peoples, and trust me, I've been behind the scenes in this, and like I, I, I kind of know what's up. You know, when people said to me, "You need more Jesus in your music." They didn't tell him that. Now, why you think that is? I'm interested to know why you think that is. You know what I'm saying? So, all that to say is. Um, you know, much love to the homie. You know what I'm saying, and uh, and you know, if our if our paths cross, then then so be it. Oh, somebody, I took the bullets for him. Maybe I, maybe that's what it is. Maybe I can't. I ain't. I didn't say that. You said that. You know what I'm. So he talks about it a little more, or whatever. Um, but at the same time, man, like I said, like um, he talks about it a little more, and. I like how he was being respectful. You know, he didn't burn any bridges. He said if NF wants to work, he's open with it. Like Le like NF said, he threw with Christian rap in general. And Lecrae is the billboard of Christian rap. So I don't know if that's going to happen. It would be a dope collab, but I don't feel like they should have to collab. I feel like also at the same time, Lecrae shouldn't be just pent down if NF was able to get off and do these kind of things. But, you know, Lecrae started and that got known for that. So he's going to get that. Just like with me. I done performed with a lot of these dudes, but nobody cared. When I was when I was a young teenage kid doing like a lot of church music, I performed at a lot of massive shows, but people still wasn't checking for me. They like, whatever, we don't care, you know. So that was I mean, it hurt it at the time because I didn't get the love that I was hoping to get to get posted on, you know, blogs, articles and radio and all that. Even though I tried, did everything I had to do, um, it didn't happen and I was salty about it. But now I'm kinda glad because if I would have blew up became top tier and then i wouldn't have been able to be where i'm at now you know so and i'm glad i feel like i can be myself and all this so make sure you subscribe much love let's get it we out